Side note, is it just me, but does the word Chris Cat sound like a chocolate bar to me? As of Kit Cat? I don't know, but it was just a thought. Chris Cat, I reviewed this channel um, last year. I did. If I remember correctly, this was the fifth channel that I reviewed. And things were getting up and up and up. And we were still in the good space we were. The channel reviews were quite good to watch. But then yet again, there's only so many people like Chris Cat or like Yex TV that we can review. Because again, I don't know, I don't see that many different versions of them. If there would be, I guess, I don't know, more people would be watching me or not. But... Since last year, Chris Cat has been to FitCon, um, Chris Cat has been in the Gateway Trilogy, Chris Cat has done a lot. Subscriber counts have definitely changed, the views have definitely changed, but the uploading has definitely slowed down, but for good reasons, because again, every time he takes time to actually um, make his videos, or is better. So today, we're going to be re-looking Chris Cat, but first, here's some of that episode I did on Chris Cat last year. Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a channel with you requested by the creator himself. Today we're going to be taking a with you on... This is going to Universal with two weirdos from the internet! I can feel the night When I see the daylight Yes, Cat. You may have seen him in mostly in Yags TV's videos, or if you've heard of his channel beforehand, then that's fantastic. But before we go into any other deep details, and also I need to tell you that I had a script that, well, I d accidentally deleted. Um, I want you to know about something. Net neutrality. Links down below. Save the internet before December 14th, because that's when. We either get the internet as it is, or not. This affects everyone, including you, Chris Cat. Anyway, let's get into it. Chris Cat is a small YouTuber that I would say in the market is a bit, fit, bit similar to Yags TV and Dino YT. He started his YouTube channel back in the year 2016. He did, and since then, he has got 158 subscribers with in video views in total 8,200 and whatever numbers. Now that is quite a lot, um, that is. He is 14 years old he is and he's also friends with, well, Yaks TV and Dino IT. Now the content that he makes for this channel, um, mainly stuff that has to do with him acting and also lots of vlogs and um, a view of the Justice League. Now that's just a, one of the thing, one of the things that he does. Like I could go on and say every video that he has done, but as you know, we've got other things to look at. But this is this wasn't his actual first channel. Oh no 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 no. Chris Cat has another channel called called Chris Cat Games. It's like a tongue twister. He started that channel back in 2014, and when you see the word games, what do you think of? Do you think of a game channel or a beauty channel or a kids unboxing channel? <laughs> no, it's a gaming channel, it is. Um, now, with this gaming channel, I'm going to really admit I did not view it that much. Um, he plays games from um, the past videos that he's done, he's played games from Uncharted 1 to the Star Wars Battlefront demo, the 2015 one that was to be confused with the, um, you know, other ones. And also, he's up, we uploaded another video of him called I Suck at CS Go. I must actually look into that, I have no idea what that is. Okay, 
Okay, it's been it's been like five minutes. Uh, let's go see if he found oh, he's not gonna find it. What the Yay. No, this is this is not okay. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Yeah. But one of the things you may have noticed is that even in my videos he has created I would say some of the characters that I use, I'm going to, well, tell you the first example, the Universal Frog. Who are you? Why are you filming me? Jake Paul. Who are you? Picture. Jake Paul. The name is forbidden in my country. Do not talk. It's everyday, bro. With the Disney Channel flow. <laughs> it's everyday, bro. With the Disney Channel flow. By million YouTube in six months. Never done before. Pass all the competition, man. Beauty buys next. It's everyday, bro. With the Disney Channel flow. <laughs> it's every day, bro, with a Disney Channel flow. Five million YouTube in six months. Never done before. That's a lot of competition, man. Beauty buys next. See? <laughs> so that's one of the things that he created within himself. And that lead me on to creating a character called Hell TV, who is basically Yegg's TV, but also a fan and also Hell himself, taking a form of like a human body. And then, and then also not really creating this, Yegg's TV created this himself, but, um, well, that little scene at the end of that Dr. Pepper, um, party, I'll show you it. That's crazy. How the hell did he know it was pet? What the hell was that? What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. What, what the hell are you doing? Oh my god, oh my god! Amazing, isn't it? So Chris Cat is actually quite amazing small YouTuber. Now, if you can also see from at my other channel, Eddie's Games to Chris Cat, these two channels have a bit similar subscriber count, and, on, and then also if you see with the views um, from Chris Cat's channel and also Eddie's games, you can. So in the conclusion, what do I think of his channel alone? Well, considering his age, and I'm just want to address something from here. Uh, the channel with views episode one got a comment saying that oh, it's with uh, a 20 year old, I'm not 20, I'm 17, is reviewing a 14 year old's channel. Now, and also false information. Now, of course, I may get that again for this episode, but considering this, I know that video is popular, and what I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna continue with the channel views, and this is not about age at all. I feel like it's about giving channels exposure and what they need because all I want is these smaller channels to maybe get popular one day if they want to. So I'm going to continue this because I think those comments are just jealous comments. Anyway, so what do I think of Chris Scott? Well, before I forget, the score of the channel gets 10 out of 10. Reason being is that, okay, I might be being a bit too kind for this one, but come on, he's he's done stuff that I have created and and now I had like a part series so Adam can I do this one you can't get out of it evil yeggs tv alright I don't want to use you until like this October okay you're gonna get your big time in the lights of YouTube then alright go away okay fine I'll drink more Dr Pepper and I'll kill you one day <laughs> kids Am I
so uh, yeah. Anyway, so a subscriber count uh, is 204, views is 10,507, and he joined on July the 30th, 2016. Pretty much information I said last year, but one thing I didn't is most popular video today is, is exposing the Juggernuggers at FibCon June 22nd. Now, if you recall a certain moment on this year of VidCon, right, I'll show you a clip instead. Hey man, yeah. both y'all motherfuckers, come here. Both y'all motherfuckers need to do what I said. I didn't shit on the channel. Do what you need to do to grow, okay? Yeah. And then we come back next year, and you guys are in the six figs. You guys each already had a play button on the way, or it's already there. I think even by December, you're gonna hit 100k. And then we'll talk, we'll go to parties together, and then we'll always look back at this shit, alright? But you guys can fucking do it, so just do it. Right. Quit the job. I'm the dead is. fucking serious. Quit the jobs. You'll, trust me, you're not gonna regret not being at Subway. You're not gonna regret not being at the fucking movie theater. You can go back there and be like, yo, bitch, I have 100,000 subs. Give me a fucking popcorn. <laughs> Do that. Quit, like, as soon as possible and just fucking non stop videos. It'll be fun. Get the fire right. back because it's all real, okay. dude. Do it. That's the. Gotcha. You, I owe that. Owe that to me. Yeah, you just yeah. sealed the deal. You saw that? Saw the deal. 100k subs by next year. You see this? He's legit. He's here. I feel it. I feel it. We're gonna do it. Killer Bob Films is like, fuck. Yeah? yeah, yeah. 100k by yeah. next year. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. 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 serious. He's serious. With the fucking jobs, don't be a bullshit piece of shit person that just does what they're told. You guys stand out. You guys fight in the in the front of VidCon, clearly. Wearing masks, being fucking, getting your knife, hook up to a stranger in a hotel room with a large black man. <laughs> fucking do it. You guys are different. Yeah. Be different. Do that shit and kill it. So that way you don't have to live a life of misery. Let's get the fuck out of here, Swift. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye guys. Right. See you guys. You too, are you doing it too? Are you doing it? We have another one. 100k by next year? More. Fuck more. more. Oh shit. <laughs> like, I think there's a competition. I think there needs yeah, to be a that yes, you saw a deal was made to hit 50k by or 100k by next year. Now, here's my real predictions on it. One, Chris Cat has 204 subscribers, and for him to get to that goal by next year, he has to keep uploading again and again and again. Which, to be honest, by the weight of how good he edits his videos, that's unlikely. Killerbot Films has somewhat of a chance, but I don't know. Maybe he has more of a chance than anyone else that I'm about to say, like Yag TV. You may say because he's got like 10,000 subscribers, he's almost going to hit 11,000 maybe over time of this recording, but Yag TV and Chris. Uh, Yag TV and Killerbot Films has more of a chance of hitting those higher goals than anything else. So that's my real prediction on all of that. Now, Chris Cat, the channel still gets a 10 out of 10, but honestly, uh, Chris Cat, for the subscriber on that, he doesn't seem to will. That's my honest opinion about all of it. Now, next channel.